everybody, it's Beth here again. Today we're going to have a go at painting, well drawing and painting, this rather lovely summery dragonfly picture. Um, we will need pencils and washable felt tips. Any colours that you have will be absolutely fine. So if you've got everything ready, we will make a start. So we're going to begin by drawing the dragonfly's body, I think. Um, we're going to do it so that the dragonfly is just angled slightly to the left. So his head's pointing up towards this corner, top left corner. And we're just going to do very simple, just very lightly to start with. And just do his little head. So just a little circle, first of all. So his little head. And then we're going to do different parts of his abdomen. So just um, another little, two little curved lines. And then another little curve lines are getting slightly bigger, slightly longer. And then we're gonna do a big, long tail. So, right, so we're gonna just bring this line. Just ignore my doggy barking at the postman, if you can hear him. So, big, long line, nice, straight line, you might need to do little sketches all the way down to a nice little point at the bottom, like that. So we've got a nice long tail and then uh, three sections at the top here. We're going to do four wings, so we're going to start off, pop our pencil just where the line comes down, to connecting those two sections together. We're going to do a nice big long line that reaches up almost to the top of the page. So I'm making it slightly wavy, a bit wibbly wobbly, not perfectly straight. And then I'm going to start off at the bottom and again, big long line up to join up. Nice little curved end. We're going to do the same on the other side. So just little sketchy lines until you're happy with how you're doing. So and then again, I'm going to measure it out so it's roughly the same distance as the other wing and then bringing it out. They don't need to be completely symmetrical. I quite like it when they're slightly different, it looks much more natural. Okay, so there's the two top wings, then we're going to do the two bottom wings. They're slightly smaller, the bottom wings. Um, they do need to be roughly the same length. So these top two and then the bottom two are going to be roughly the same length but slightly smaller than the top ones. So we're going to put our pencil on this point here and then we're going to take it back out and up, round, and do the same down here. So curving it round just slightly and then bring that top line down to meet it on this side and then the same on the other side. So slightly wibbly line and then from the body out again I'm curving them round just very gently. There we go. So we've mapped out the wings and the basic shape of the body. We're not going to do a huge amount of drawing today. A lot of it is going to be done with our felt tips. So just pop in two eyes, two big round eyes, give them two lovely eyes and two little legs. We're not going to do all these legs, so keep it quite simple. So a line coming out, then up at a slight angle and then just over. So on the other side, roughly the same, so out, up, and then just over the top like that. Okay, um, I'm going to do a tiny little bit of shading on the eyes, we'll do a little bit of shading and then we'll do the rest with our colours. So the, sh the eyes, we want to make sure that we leave a little white, sort of overly shape on the eyes. Same space on each eye. Okay, so give it a little shape. I'm going to just press hard on my pencil, just get that edge just outlined a bit, just makes the eyes pop out a little bit more. So just round one side on both eyes. 
And then we're going to do just a little bit of gentle shading, not too much, um, because we're going to use our colours. So basically we want the edges to be a little bit darker than the middle section. This middle section is going to be lighter. So we can just put a little bit of gentle shading, just slightly curve your lines, just down. the edges of your dragonfly, just a little bit. Smudge them in if you want to, and then just give it a little bit of shading just along the edge, just bring that out a little bit. Okay, um, and then the last little bit of drawing with our pencil, we're just gonna pop some little veins in his wings. So um, basically just a little sort of wibbly line that comes out and off. So trying to just slowly, carefully just popping these in. So just branching off, not perfectly straight, a little bit wibbly wobbly, following the shape of the wings like that okay so that's all we're going to do for our pencil then we're going to move on to our felt tips so um i'm going to use let's have a little look i'm going to use uh turquoise purple and shades of blue um so if you've got similar shades to those then then use those if not just stick to light um blues or greens if you can instead of the turquoise Okay, so we're choosing our lightest colour, whatever colour you've got, but the lightest one first of all. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to just put a little bit, I'm going to do concentrate on the middle of our dragonfly. So I'm just adding some little bit of shading. I'm curving my lines, so I'm trying to emphasise the shape of our dragonfly's body. Okay, so it's just giving him a little bit more form. And then we're going down his tail and his little lines all the way down with our lightest colour. Okay, so all the way working across, trying not to go out of those lines. You might need to just go a little bit slow and careful Okay, I'm also going to just um, very lightly, just a little broken line, just outlining just the top sort of section of our wings. So coming out from his body, just the top line, just a little bit on both of our wings like this and around. Here we go, like that. And then I might just work over broken lines just a little bit the section that's nearest the body okay like this okay right so I'm, I'm going to leave that there I'm going to move to my blues now so what I'm going to do first of all I'm going to depending on what shades you've got I'm going to go for my next darkest shade and we're going to just work now next to that turquoise just a little darker along the edges again if you can just keep your lines a little bit curved and then I'm just going to edge just this tail a little bit so just working down That long line, that big long lovely tail. Okay, and the same on the other side. So I'm trying to go as quick as I can for you. You can stop and pause and really take your time when you're doing this. So, okay. I'm gonna do a little bit around the head as well, I think. 
So I've worked over that turquoise, you can see, you can still see it coming through a little bit. And just where those border, where the sections meet each other, I'm just working those a little bit as well. Just so you can really see that shape, that form, okay? And then my next darkest colour, I'm just re just out using that to outline really. So just right on the edge. I'm using a nice purple because I think it's a nice contrast to the blues and the turquoises. They work really well together. And then all the way down, finishing off. Okay. There we go. Right, what I'm going to do as well with my dark colour, I'm just going to work over that eye a little bit as well. Making sure not to go over my white highlights. I think I'm going to leave the legs just in pencil. I think they look fine. Right, so what I'm going to do next is we're going to get our water for this little bit. We're just going to do the garden next, uh, after we've done this, but I just want to get the water on. Don't use a lot of water. Just wet your brush and then wipe the drips off because we don't want lots and lots of water on this because you don't want the, the ink um, blurring and bleeding out, and out of the edge and losing your shape. So I've got just a dampish brush and I'm just dragging very carefully, just dragging in from the edge into the middle. Okay, so you barely need any water on your brush, otherwise it goes a little bit smudgy. Okay, so just wiping those drips off, just a little bit of water, working it. from the edge in. Okay, and then down the tail. There we go, all the way down to the tip. All right. Now what I'm gonna do with the wings is we are gonna just pick up a little bit of that dark color, whatever you've used, and we're just gonna drag it out across the wing. So we're giving the wings like a tint of color. So just with a nice clean bit of water, just dragging that out and you can see that we've got a nice little bit of like a tint of purple, because I've used purple, if you're using blue it might be a little bit of blue and we're just brushing that water over the wing, maybe picking up a little bit of the turquoise as well, but we really want the wings to stay nice and light, sort of translucent almost. So it's just a, a very much a tint of colour. Let's put them right to the edge. Okay, so the same for all of the wings, dragging that out a little bit, that purple, so you can see that lovely nice hue. There we go. So I'm going to let my dragonfly dry now because what I'm going to do once it's dried we're going to just come back and work a few more little details into it but we need it to be dry. So whilst that's drying we're going to now work on our lovely summery garden. Um, so for this basically I've got lots of different shades. I've got um, a few different shades of green, yellows and then we're going to add some little flowers with our, hot. I'm using hot colours so pinks, reds, yellows and oranges. So let's do our grasses first of all. So I'm using two colours of green to start with. I'm being quite free with this, so I'm not keeping it neat. So nice long bits of grass just coming down, different lengths, going right to the bottom of the page, up a little bit behind the dragonfly. I'm using, first of all, I'm doing one shade of green. Okay, once I've done one shade, then I'm going to choose a different shade and do the same. So we're getting all these lovely shades now. 
doing exactly the same thing, crisscrossing over a little bit, shorter ones, longer ones. Okay, I'm also going to add, I've got um, sort of like a brown yellow and another yellow, so I'm going to use a little bit of that brown, it's yellow ochre. I'm going to put a little bit of that in as well, which is quite nice. Nice contrast to the green. Not too much, just a touch. And also a little bit of yellow. Yellow looks nice in the grass as well. Okay. Right, so once I put my grass in, then I'm gonna add some little flowers. So all I'm doing for the flowers, they're almost like little scribbles. You can do just little scribbles, little circles little dots, keeping it very loose. I'm not actually drawing perfectly drawn flowers, just keeping it quite abstract. And I'm just dotting them about any way you want. So a little bit of yellow, I'm combining the colors together a little bit. So now I'm popping a bit of red on my yellow. A few little red ones. Um, got some pink here. So make some slightly bigger. And I'm going to add some orange in as well, I think. Quite nice. So really random. Just think of like a, a meadow. You wouldn't get perfectly grown flowers in immaculate lines, would you? It's nice. And random big ones, small ones. Mix the colours together a little bit. Might add a few more yellow ones in. Quite like the yellow and the red. Okay, so once I've done that, all I'm going to do now is go back to my water. I'm going to be quite loose. I'm just, I'm not working over the flowers because I don't really want to mix the green up with the, the reds and the pinks. I'm just going over my grass to start with. Don't worry if you, if you do get work over your flowers. It's not the end of the world. So I'm just working over my grass to start with. So using these water soluble pens, it means that they do bleed nicely with the water. You get this nice sort of watercolory, sort of smudgy effect. So, a little bit of water just on my grass, trying to avoid the flowers at the moment. But don't worry if you do get them. Try not to let it drip. Then wash my brush, and then I'm going to work over the flowers. So smudge them together a little bit. Don't need to keep washing your brush because they're all nice hot colours, so they all mix nicely together. So little smudges, keeping it nice and loose, like that, okay. Right, so that's our flower garden nearly done. Hopefully whilst we've been doing this, our dragonfly has dried a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab a black pen. Do check that it's dry because if you put uh, your pen on while it's wet, it's just going to bleed everywhere and end up really smudgy. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop a few little stripes, just a few details down the tail. So little curved stripes, again, emphasizing the form, so I'm not doing them as straight lines, I'm doing them, trying to keep them curved. And a little bit on the body as well, just there. You can get your black, I mean, and you can do this, it doesn't need to be a felt tip pen, it could be a biro, any kind of black pen really. And I'm just going right around the edge, just along the edge, just to get those eyes to pop out a little bit more. And possibly, I might just, outline, just a little outline, just along the edge if you wanted to, just a little bit, a little bit of a broken line. Um, and then I think what you could do, have a look at your wings, if you want to just add a little bit more 
definition on your wings you can it's up to you just but I'm doing that with my pencil not my black pen because I want to keep it a bit softer for the wings so you can just work over if you think it needs it it might not and then the last thing we're going to do is a few little summery splats of colour. So the way I'm going to do this is I would probably um, put a little bit of whatever colour you want on a separate piece of paper. So really um, work it well on a separate piece of paper and then rub your water in, pick up the colour and then splat. Or I'm just going to do it because of it's just easier and quicker for the sake of the film, um, I'm gonna just do it with watercolors. So I'm just gonna choose any colors you want. I'm gonna choose a nice pink. Really work my brush into that pink. Little bit of water, and then some few little splats of color. In the garden and up at the top. Mine might go a little bit drippy. That's because I'm working upright. Although I quite like it actually. And I might choose a blue as well. Let's get a few little blue splats in. So, so a few little blue splats. Okay. And I think that's probably all we need. So do your splats, check your outlines. And if you're happy with it, we will leave it there. So I hope you enjoyed our drawing today. Please do share your pictures with us and we will see you again soon. Bye for now.